Howdy, folks. Uh, this is a test of the emergency macroeconomics broadcasting system. Uh, I'm just trying to test out the stream here. See the audio, video, everything is working properly. Uh, I might turn this into a mini description of my experiences in the hopes that it could potentially help some others out. Um, so I'm teaching, I'm a Doug Hanley, Pitt, University of Pittsburgh, teaching some macro. Um, decided to go with Twitch. That's uh, kind of familiar for, to me. My uh, One of my best friends from Buffalo uh, is a Twitch streamer. Um, watch him a good bit, so I just have some inside information there. Uh, the big decision, I think, here is it probably between Twitch and something like Zoom, which seems like a lot of other people are using. Uh, I think, um, well, one question is whether Zoom is going to be able to sort of handle the immense uptick in uh, usage coming from a, a bunch of professors and classes being done online. Um, we'll see about that, uh, but I think Twitch is pretty robust, so I, I'm not too worried about them having issues. Uh, so, um, go through some equipment here. Uh, got a microphone, Rode USB, mini USB one, working pretty well. Part of the reason I'm doing this is to make sure that it's uh, audible and, and not too unbearable to listen to my voice. Uh, I've got a graphics tablet, can't really see that. It's just a slab of plastic, basically, but you can draw on it. I mean, it's kind of like an iPad or a uh, tablet of any sort, but without the display. Um, and it's got a little pen stylus here, okay? Also a little glove, which looks pretty nerdy, but you can, uh, it's easier to draw with that. So, um, and then I got, uh, so I'm using Linux, maybe possibly one of the only people actually doing that uh, in this realm at this point, um, at least for, for doing uh, online courses. Uh, so yeah, I just have this program called Zernal. It's like journal with an X that works pretty well. Um, and the drivers for the tablet work okay. So the tablet's a Huayan 1066P. So the Wacom is sort of the dominant player in the tablet field as far as I know, but I decided to go for one that's a little bit cheaper. Um, it seems to be pretty good though. Not as good as like an iPad Pro or something like that, but it's it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, and then I video is just a regular kind of webcam Microsoft. So, uh, and in terms of the setup, I do a lot of math in my courses for better, or for worse. Uh, I mean, I do lecturing as well, but it, there's a lot of sort of board work. Uh, so for that, I'm using this this journal, journal app, um, and there I can just draw with the stylus. So here, um, you can see, so it's a little, it's always a little bit funky managing the stylus. Let me just move things around here. Uh, so yeah, you know, you can draw stuff if you wanna, you know, draw an integral here. Let's say we're doing like a, normal distribution kind of thing with this should be square root of two pi or something like that. Okay. So, um, I could draw math. Obviously my handwriting isn't, isn't great. Um, it's not as good as it would be on a board, uh, practicing a little bit, it does get better. Um, and sort of e even within a single session, I think, um, you know, the, the things get better. I think one thing is to just remember to kind of take it slow, uh, and not go too crazy. Um, with graphs, so graphs are kind of the big thing you can see up here. Your your hand gets a little shaky. That can be difficult. There's like a ruler tool that you can do. At least get the axes straight um, like this. But then once you want to like draw, like you know, if I'm drawing like a solo diagram, like I did above, straight lines get a little tough. And oh my god. So technically correct, but obviously pretty bad um, in terms of uh, visibility. So, but you can always like undo as well. So let's say I decided that that investment curve was just way too close. Then I can do something like this. That's not embarrassing. It eventually decreases, which of course shouldn't happen, but you know, um, stuff like that. So this would be like, you know, K star. Okay. So, um, we can draw stuff. We can talk. That's a decent, uh, representation of a class, I guess, uh, in term. Yeah. The other big thing with, Twitch versus a Zoom or Zoom equivalent would be kind of the interaction. So I think Zoom, you can have, you know, kind of everyone in there, you can see their faces and they can like, talk. I think there's different modes depending that control whether they can talk or whether only one person can talk. Uh, we have a guy in here. We got a person in here. 
Tito1724, what's up? Uh, this is mostly a test stream. Not really interested in uh, getting famous. You might be a bot, I'm not sure. Uh, but thanks for coming in here. Um, yeah, so, uh, you know, so, so the students, I guess the plan would be uh, they can, you know, say something if they're confused. Maybe I'll make some emotes so that they can quickly give, you know, say like, I'm confused about something. There could be just an emote for that. Um, the other thing is there's usually about a four or five second lag, depending on where people are uh, on Twitch. So that can be a little tough. I think that's part of the reason I want to test it out for one class just to see uh, how it goes. So we will see. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I wanted to talk about. Uh, that's it. So yeah, so we're if, if, it, if anyone's actually watching this, we're starting next, on the 23rd Pitt, University of Pittsburgh, starting back up on the 23rd doing online learning uh, because of obviously the coronavirus. Um, and so get ready. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.